For a lot of you guys that were here before I got here and any of these coaches got here, okay, this is the 200th win in Tennessee Titans history. Okay? Let's be thankful and let's be grateful for the ownership that we have. They let us do our jobs, okay? They support us. Right, show blitz. Here they come. Sack! Being chased. Sack! Harold Landry. Tannehill fires quickly. Caught Johnson. 50 yards and a first down. He's hit. He lost the ball. Cole with the big hit. Keep swinging and do it together. Do it together. That's the way to find a way to win. Right? Took everybody. It wasn't pretty, but we found a way to win. Let's go. Titans on three. One, two, three. Five. the Titans Blitz. We're coming to you live from downtown Nashville at Nissan Stadium. I'm Lance Smith. This 8-2 and two crowd is so happy, but I'm happy because I'm sitting next to Mark Mariani right here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Mark, good to see you. Good to have you back great, on the show. Great to see you, man. Heck yeah. Another W and, you know, not, put another one on the win yeah, chart. Let's go. We got eight of those so far. That's what I said. 200 <laughs> wins, and we're, it only took us 10 weeks to get there. Let's go. Yeah, what a season it's been. A uh, lot to talk about. We'll get into it. Uh, but, you, you know, of course, you're enjoying this. Oh, uh, man, you don't want to see me on game day. I got, <laughs> I got to keep my distance from everyone that I know and love because I, I'm a spaz, man. You know that. You, you know I'm a, I got a little extra energy on game day. I, I, hey, look, coming from, I appreciate some spazness. That's me on game day here at Nissan. If you come to the games, you know. Uh, let's get into it. Let's do a hot takes with Mark right here and talk about this game uh, that was. If you would have told me a year ago that we'd be lighting up the field with a guy named Marcus Johnson and guys like Naquan Jones are going to be making a difference. What? Who? What? Not Julio? I mean, we're getting – it's next man up, next man up. It's been so fun to watch. We're, we're like, top – number one in the league, and most guys played, I think, high 80s. Uh, the second team isn't even close, and these guys just continue to make plays. It's a testament to Coach Vrabel and the guys in that locker room, Marcus Johnson making plays all over the place, Monty Rice. It's next man, man. Every single week, that injury list gets longer and longer, and these guys continue to make plays and notch Ws. It's been really fun to watch, and I got a lot of respect for those guys. Huge testament to the coaching staff and game planning and getting these guys ready, keeping them ready. You, you know, you're next in line, be ready. And, and no matter what position you play on the team, watching these injuries happen and watching watching everyone step up to me I would think I mean you know better than I would that be on your toes be ready because That's you're right. probably going to dress out it's an identity it's what we're, we're made of from opening you know opening day of training camp mm -hmm. and these guys buy into it and when it's their turn when you get your jersey number called you don't even flinch you go out there and you make plays you do what you're coached to do uh, like you said uh, David Long Jr. of course uh, out for the game so Monty Rice stepping in leads the team in tackles with 11 uh, Naquan Jones gets his first career sack uh, I mean, it is. It, it, it's exciting to watch. I think uh, the way the, that our leaders have been playing, it's infectious, uh, and they're, they're keeping it hot. Also keeping it hot, um, this uh, front defense of ours, Simmons and Landry getting at it. Simmons with two, Landry with another sack on the day. Uh, you know, Autry's getting double teamed, so we have the guys that are taking that. Fine, you want to double team Autry? We've got the guys to, uh, to fill the gaps. I swear I could listen to Mike Keith yell, sack! All day. About 100, <laughs> over and over and over. <laughs> These two guys, man, they're leading this front four, top front four in the league, if you ask me, both in the top ten in sacks. Yeah. Fun to watch, and, and honestly, our, our defense becomes so dynamic when these guys get pressure, and when our front gets pressure with four, led by these two studs. It's fun to watch. Both of them are coming into their own and hitting the stretch run. Yeah. Uh, what do you see difference-wise from last year this year with that front rush? Is it just uh, the coordination factor of how they're uh, attacking offenses? I think we have some depth there. We're rolling guys in and out. But you can tell this guy right here, Jeffrey Simmons, is on a whole nother, <laughs> a whole nother gear from this year to last after that injury in his first season. And then Harold Landry, he's been doing this. Mm -hmm. He just needed a little help. And when you have that interior pressure – combined with that pressure on the edge, it's a nasty combination, and these guys just keep doing it each and every week. I'll tell you what, we are, we are continuing to be disrespected and underrated, but I guarantee you an offensive coordinator and a quarterback that's coming into our building, yeah. seeing this front four, they don't want to see those boys for 70 or 80 snaps, man. Yeah. They're getting absolutely after people. Trevor Simeon did not have a good day. I mean, it was just, it's been fun to watch. You know, we were talking before the show, you said it, uh, the Saints a very, very good football team very good that football we took team. care of without Derrick Henry very with a great good. game plan uh, and walked out with the win. It's great. Also, too, something uh, that's changed uh, this year from last year, kicking. 
Hey, That's right. this game, uh, Randy, but give it up for Randy. There he is, man. Let's go. Randy's our guy. Randy's our guy. Yep, three for three on field goals, two extra points. Uh, two extra points not hit by the Saints, mind you. A uh, little windy down there in the north the, end zone. Those ended up being pretty big points Huge. right there. As the guy who drives the Titan fan bus each and every week, <laughs> seeing a kicker that's trotting out on the field and having complete confidence in Big Randy over there is really <laughs> fun compared to what we've been going through. So he has come in here and solidified that kicking game. Uh, obviously, we have the best punter in the history of football. Uh, but for him to do this in the kicking game is huge for us because consistency is all we need, man. Just keep doing your job and, and making us proud. And it hasn't been like that. So big, big ups for him. Yeah, when when you when you're looking at a team like this that's it's on a roll. I mean, we had the hardest schedule in the league and halfway to this midpoint, but now we have the easiest going out. How do you stay focused and not drop easy games when you're at this level? I look at it from top down, and Coach Rabel has been preaching this, and it's easy to preach it when you're chasing 500 or you're you're battling for for position. But when you're eight and two and you got a target on your back, it's a much different way to approach it and I'll tell you what he's not going to flinch he's going to take it one week at a time he has conditioned these guys from the leaders on down to go out like we said and make plays do what their coach to do and they're, they're just not going to flinch they're going to take this they're going to take the Houston Texans seriously mm -hmm. and then take every game moving forward seriously and that's just the way they're doing it so uh, it's fun for me to watch yeah. seeing you know being you, being in those locker rooms like that. Um, and you just know, as a Titans fan, you got a ton of confidence in this organization and this coaching staff. Certainly do. Hey, we are a real 8-2 and two team That's right, right now. we got to take a little break. Here's some Nissan memorable moments. We'll be right back with more Titans Blitz. Stick around. They're going to screen it to Foreman. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15. Cut back 10. And Williams gets him on the ground inside the 10 yard line at about the nine. He's hit, he lost the ball. Cole with the big hit. Mad scramble for the football inside the 20. Carter looked like he had a great shot at it. Did he get it? Tight ball. Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Comedian DJ Pryor is back with us on the show. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm great. You're enjoying the season? Yes, it was great, man. Eight and two. Eight and two. Yeah. I love having you come back on the show every week yeah. when, after these home games yeah. because I just I see the glow about you. You're uh, experiencing football. Yeah. We're kicking butt. Yeah. Um, so look, you guys, you, you come to the, you come to the games, you see the Blue Crew drum line, right? They get you going, like a little Blue Crew drum line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, uh, I, I didn't know this. I knew you were gonna hang out with them, but you, you play a little bit yourself. Yeah, man. I, from ages 12 to 17, I toured with a group, uh, playing drums. But I played like full drum sets, so it's a lot different playing percussion. Uh, but I got a chance to come out of retirement for this. Come out of retirement for yeah, you. I, I, was, retirement. I was really, I knew you played a little bit, but yeah. then watching this, it's like, man. I wasn't, it was really just supposed to film them doing it. And uh, and we were doing it, and, and, and Dustin said, you should do it. And I was like, no, I don't want to. And then he was like, you should do it. And I was like, well, let's do it. And yeah, so that's how TV like, happens. Yeah. I love Blue Crew. They get you going. They yes. set the rhythm, Shout got the beat. Shout out to Blue Crew. It's nice and funky. Yes. Uh, right now, let's check out DJ Pryor in All Tightened Up. That was, that was cool, that was cool, that was cute. You, a little off, you, tighten up a little bit. You guys do great on Sundays, but let's be honest, guys, it could be a lot better. All right. All right, here we go, right on the groove. Right okay. on the groove. Right on the groove, right on the groove. I'm sorry. Uh, what was that? That was no. I was just because I, I, I was I was feeling what y'all was doing. It was like a little bit. I just felt like y'all weren't going the extra mile. Y'all was just showing some gap. You know, just putting some effort into it. I think you're feeling it a little too much. Okay. Bring it back. Bring it down. Back. Okay. It's early. Six o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's a beautiful day to whip up on some saints. Let's go.
If I bomb, I'm gonna bomb with commitment. Let's go. Because they get it done in Nissan Stadium. Blue crew. It's good stuff, man. Thank you, man. It's that good was stuff. Fun. That was fun. I got to say, though, my, my favorite thing that you do is finding those opposing fans and oh, know yeah. how to just, 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 just right. Yeah, shout out to my boy J Dub. Uh, he was really bitter on the way home. It you really, think? It was really great. It was funny. <laughs> We're going to have some more of those. We've got the Texans coming in. Yes, it's going to be great, man. This next episode is going to be very heartfelt and sentimental, so y'all don't want to miss this, man. Uh, Sunday's game. Y'all make sure y'all check it out, man. We'll do. You're going to be here. Yes. You got to do the family thing. Yes. Same thing, man. It's going to be great. Ladies and gentlemen, comedian DJ Pryor right here. Thank you, sir. All right. We'll see you again soon. Stick around. Get more Titans books on the other side. Titans trivia gauntlet. We'll be right back. the Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. I'm your host, Lance Smith. It is time now for the Titans Trivia Gauntlet. That is just so intimidating every time. I hope you're scared. Let me introduce you to you. First here on my right, this is Randall. How you doing, Randall? Doing wonderful. I've seen you around a few times. Yes, sir. You excited to do this? Yeah, man. A little Lucky nervous? Hat. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice yeah. hat. Yeah. It's a nice hat. Uh, Mark, if you win this game, you get to take his hat. Oh, boy. Hey, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark, right here to my left, how are you, sir? I'm doing great, Lance. Now, uh, you're a season ticket member? Yes. Where are you from? Uh, Mount Juliet. Mount Juliet, yeah. okay. Yeah. Right on. And Randall, how about yourself? Hendersonville. Hendersonville, okay. A couple local guys right here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's get into it. Got a prize of the line. One of these fancy helmets back here, signed by a special player. If you win, uh, we did a little rock paper scissors before we got started. Who who won that? What'd you go with? I think scissors. It took three times. It, it took three times. Oh three wow! Rounds. I'm impressed. Yeah. And you hit him with yeah. scissors. Very nice. <laughs> uh, we'll check that out later. Right now, let's get to the important <laughs> part of the show: the trivia gauntlet. Uh, they start easy and they get harder. Randall, first up, what is the NFL championship game called? Do you do you need the the Multiple choice. <laughs> Do you want it? It's Pro Bowl, Hyper Bowl, Super Bowl, uh, Mega Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah. No, it's Mega Bowl. I'm kidding. Yes, of course, it's Super Bowl. All right, Mark, Randall's got a point on you. Next question for you. Which team is not in the Titans division of these four teams? Which team is not in the Titans division? Panthers, Colts, Jaguars, or Texans? The Panthers. The Panthers are not in the division. That's true. They are in the NFC anyway. Next question for you, Randall. It's all tied up. What? is the name of the Tennessee Titans drum line. <laughs> if you've been paying attention to this show, I hope you were not asleep in the prior segment. <laughs> the Sticks, that... the Congas, Little Drummer Boys, or Blue Crew? I believe that would be the Blue Crew. I like the Congas, that's kind of fun. <laughs> Correct, all right, they're getting a little bit harder Sticks. now. Mark, next question for you in this gauntlet. Who was the head coach when the team became the Titans? Mike Munchak, Jeff Fisher, Bum Phillips, or Mike Vrabel? That would be Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher, oh, that man. is correct. Rolling right along, all tied up. Randall, next question to you. Who wore jersey number 23 when the franchise became the Titans in 1999? Getting a little bit harder here. Here we go. Marcus Robertson, Samari Roll, Dan and Sydney, or Blaine Bishop? 
I want to say Blaine Bishop. You want to say you're going to go with your heart? Final answer? Can we do that? Is that copyright? Yes, it is. <laughs> Blaine Bishop. Three points to you, Mark. They are getting harder. Next question. Here we go. Who was in the role of GM when the Titans Oilers drafted Eddie George, Steve McNair, and Javon Kurse? Would that be Mike Holovac, Mike Reinfeldt, John Robinson, or Floyd Reese? That'd be Floyd Reese. That would be Floyd Reese, honoring both Jeff Fisher and Floyd Reese this Sunday in tonight's game. All tied up still. Next to you, Randall. In which state did A.J. Brown play high school football? Was that Texas, Mississippi, Ohio, or Georgia? Mississippi. Mississippi is the answer. We're on a roll here, folks. I don't think we've missed <laughs> one yet. Final question right here to you. Uh, which former Titans tight end went on to become a fire chief following his football career? Frank Wycheck, Bo Scaife, Aaron Kenny, or Algie Crumpler? Do you remember that? Aaron Kenny. Aaron Kenny is the answer. Is, are we all tied up still, judges? Sure. We are all tied up. Tiebreaker answer to you both. We'll start here, Randall. How many passing yards does Ryan Tannehill have for the season? Answer first, Randall. You can go over. It's whoever's closest. <laughs> whoever's closest. Tannehill, passing um, yards for the season. 2,000. 2,000. What say you, Mark? 2,001. He goes uh, the price is right uh, way. Uh, the uh, correct uh, answer is 2,358. Uh, <laughs> way to game the system. Congratulations. We have an autographed football helmet of none other than A.J. Brown right here for you, sir. There you go. Show it off. We're going to go to break right now. Mark Mariani's on his way back. we got more Titans Blitz on the other side. Stick around. Show it off, man. Show it off. Yeah. Very nice. Crowd still pumped from all these wins. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz. Lance and Mark back with you. Uh, big game again coming up. They're all big. That's what football is. Uh, coming up this Sunday here at Nissan Stadium, the Texans coming to town. Look, we talked about it. You know, our strength of schedule this part of the season, it, it is the easiest in the NFL, but you can't overlook this stuff. That's right. And I think, like we said, Coach Vrabel has these guys ready to roll. He's going to prepare like, you know, this is a 10-0 and team coming in here. And listen, they have some playmakers. This is the NFL. Every win's mm -hmm. hard. Uh, and, and historically – the Titans, older teams, maybe some that I've been on, have found ways to lose these kind of games. But I don't think Vrabel and his coaching staff is going to let that happen. The leadership on this team is too good. They find so many different ways to win. I like our chances going into homecoming week this right. weekend. That's right, homecoming week. We're honoring uh, Floyd Reese, Jeff Fisher. Uh, and our, uh, the Ring of Honor, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a really special moment. Uh, we mentioned him earlier, so there's Jeff right there uh, and the late Floyd Reese. Of course, these guys, they they... they set the standard uh, for this franchise, for our fan base. Uh, those were some great years, some great memories. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be an incredible day. Uh, let me, going, going back to the whole you can't overlook these teams, can the loss to the Jets early in the season, is it actually almost a plus now? Because you can't let that happen again, and it did. So I think that, you take lessons from that, that's absolutely. Asking, yeah. you, you gain experience from that. And that also goes to show you that this is the NFL. Mm -hmm. this, these guys are professionals. They're the best in the world at what they do. You better bring your game on mm -hmm. Sundays, Thursdays, whatever date is. Uh, and so Houston Texans are coming in here, and there's nothing that they'd rather do more oh, yeah. than knock you off, who's supposed to be the number one seed in the AFC. They don't have a lot left to play for. That coaching staff in that locker room is, going, is, is saying, hey, listen, Let's go knock off the Tennessee Titans at home, not to mention the rivalry that these two organizations have dating mm -hmm. way back uh, to the old Houston Oilers. But yeah. I, I, I don't we, – we cannot, we cannot underestimate this opponent ever, especially led, led by a, a true vet like Tyrod Taylor, yeah. all these things. I mean, listen, we, we don't take anybody lightly around here. We, we know better than that. So I think the guys are going to be geared up and ready to go on Sunday. I will say this, and this is what I'm, I'm kind of really looking forward to. We, we've been putting this engine sort of back together without Derek Henry. You know, we've got Adrian Peterson there. Uh, Dante Foreman is, is running like a madman. Uh, the Nichols may be banged up. We're not so sure. But the Saints were the number one rush defense in the league when we played them this last Sunday, giving up less than 74 yards a game. This is the 31st ranked run defense. So I'd really love to see this makeshift running package 
run over them. This is our identity. It has been. Derrick Henry was the, was the lead horse in, in that realm. But now we pick up the pieces. Yeah. We do it by committee. And honestly, moving forward, we just start wrecking people and running downhill, man. Wrecking people, That's running right. downhill. That's what we got to do That's here, right. baby. Nissan, get me, baby.